Hey guys, Captain Vince here. Welcome back on the channel. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this little introduction. Um, I think uh, I had fun making it. I think it showcases well the potential of ENVTEX with uh, pr uh, Prepared Tweak Assistant, PTA. And that was the aim, just to give you a, uh, a, a small avant-bouche um, of what you could have uh, yourself. So now what I want to do is um, show you my ENVTEX settings as well as my PTA settings, my preset, the preset I am currently using. Uh, but I think we should start with ENVTEX first. So if you guys are not uh, accustomed to ENVTEX, it's basically a texture replacement software, just like Real uh, Environment Extreme is, Rex. Uh, Rex is probably the, the older and the most known add-on of this type out there, but uh, ENVTEX is definitely the winner uh, to my eyes. So that's what I, I wanna present to you today. And um, so in ENVTEX, you have, uh, it's quite simple, it's very user-friendly. You have your settings, we will come back to this afterwards. Customization, so you choose the texture set you wanna use, and you have a help section as well uh, that can you know uh, provide uh, some information to you. So if we jump into the uh, texture sets, um, so you have four, um, sorry, 12, um, three rows of four sets, so 12 in total, uh, different uh, textures for different uh, things, objects, um, and uh, so on. So the first one on, uh, on the top right, you have the sky textures. I uh, recommend leaving that uh, to random. It's gonna provide the most variety, but you have a whole ton of sky uh, textures to sh choose from. So let's say we are in summer now, so seasonal summer, this uh, could, you could choose that. Uh, and you, as you can see, it changes the sky textures depending on the season. Uh, but I like it random. I think uh, in real life, you get very random sky colors. So um, I leave it to random. Next up, we have the cirrus clouds. You have two sets to choose from. I like set number one, so I just leave it there. Inland water, I use set one photo reel. Again, you can play with the different sets and choose the one you prefer. For the waves, I like uh, set number three. I think it's the set that uh, really make the waves pop out a bit more and that's what I personally enjoy. For the sun, I use set number three, but then again, as you can see, you have a whole ton of suns to choose from. So make sure to really um, explore the software. That's very important. For the cumulus clouds, you have four sets. I usually recommend set number one or set number four. I really like set number four, but um, I'm feeling set number one today. Um, ocean water, I'm using set two photoreal. You have four sets to choose from, so just um, you know, just make sure you, you choose the set you prefer. Airport, again, you have four sets to choose uh, between. I like set number two, that's my personal um, preference. Sun flare now, I, uh, you can choose without lens effect. I like sun flare number four, um, but again, they are all very different, so you, you can choose uh, the one you like. So let's leave it on set number four today. A new addition in the latest service pack for ENVTEX are the Aurora Borealis. And you have two options here, so randomly visible or always visible. Um, I think it's more realistic to leave it on randomly visible, so that's where I leave that. Now tropical water for you guys that like to fly in tropical areas. Um, again, four sets, I like photoreal one. I think you can see the corals a bit more and it looks very good. And finally, for the grass, you have three sets. And finally, during the winter, you can choose snowy grass. So that's it for the sets. Make sure to explore them in depth. This is just a quick overview of my personal settings. You can try them out yourself and then tweak as you go. All right, guys, so now we have moved on to the settings area, and this is quite important. So just uh, listen well to what I have to say. I might not um, know everything, but I, I might have some uh, insights that could be interesting. 
So first of all, ENVTX works with uh, down to FS9 to P3D version 4, so your sim should be there, except for explain, of course. Now you just uh, link it to your P3D version 4 folder, and uh, the backup folder should already be there, which is good. Um, now, uh, here you have the Active Sky Cloud Art integration. So as you can see, it's not linked, it, 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 like it doesn't, um, it's not the actual Active Sky Cloud Art folder, but for some reason, um, I mean, I, I keep on on putting the, the folder in, but I, it keeps switching, so I don't know what's up with that. Let's save that up and see if it works, but I mean, just point it to the folder, it should work very well. And now here is quite uh, important. So as you can see, you can use Active Sky Cloud Art and ENVTEX textures or ENVTEX textures only. I've uh, played with both and the winner uh, by far for me is ENVTEX textures only. So I think uh, what it's gonna do is you're gonna get the ENVTEX clouds textures as well as sky textures, but you're gonna get the uh, Active Sky Cloud Art cloud um, uh, generation. So uh, it, it's going to generate clouds according to at Active Sky Cloud Art in uh, harmony with um, Active Sky 16, but the textures will be those from ENVTEX, and that's what I uh, truly recommend. They are better. Uh, visually, I think, and they are better um, performance-wise. So again, try it, try the integration, but I personally recommend ENVTEX textures only. All right, so let's save that up. Um, now, again, ENVTEX um, has a an integration feature for PTA, which is quite nice. Just link, um, just a point uh, point it to your PTA folder. Uh, in my case, it's still in download, so don't ask why, I don't know. Uh, select use PTA shaders, that's very important as well. You want to use the, the PTA presets. Um, if not, ENVTEX comes with shaders, as you can see here, but I would use PTA shaders. I think that's, uh, that's, uh, that's easy to say. And uh, yeah, so it integrates it. Uh, I think it, it just pairs with it a bit uh, better than if it wouldn't be integ integrated with ENVTEX. All right, guys, so now let's move to the settings, the quality settings. Um, I have it on custom, so if you want to copy my settings, do so. Uh, I think it's the best uh, kind, of, uh, kind of middle ground between uh, high quality and performance. Um, I've tested a bunch of different settings, and these are the one um, are the ones I'm most pleased with. Uh, optimize all textures. I would turn that on, and then um, here, just make sure to you know you can try first with my settings. You have some presets as well, so low, normal, and high. So just try them for yourself or copy my presets. Uh, this preset should work with any computer really. Uh, as you can see, the performance impact, you get a performance impact indicator according to the, the different uh, setting you're, uh, you're customizing. And the biggest performance impact, of course, are the cumulus clouds. But other than that, it's pretty light on the system. So uh, that's it for ENVTEX. Now I'm going to show you my PTA settings. And of course, guys, when you're ready to go, you just... Um, click on install preset and it's going to uh, install uh, the presets and the textures into your simulator. Okay guys, so now um, quickly because it's only a preset I'm using, um, I use PTA Absolute. So um, this is actually created by the guys who develop ENVTEX uh, over at Toga um, Softwares. So um, PTA Absolute that's you can download that. There's going to be a link in the description down below. Make sure to download that. You have three different presets to choose from: uh, the normal one, the um, less haze, and more haze. So I just use the natural profile myself, and uh, they recommend HDR settings as well. And as you can see, it uh, it works perfectly with the P3D Tweak Assistant. So again, PTA will be linked, the sh um, sorry, the, the, the presets will be linked, 
and PTA as well. And as most of you may know, PTA is now payware, so you have to pay some money to get it working. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this little video, if it helped you out, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and uh, stay tuned for more. So guys, again, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave uh, it in the comment section down below. And uh, until next time, guys, catch you later.